Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to Scribblenauts Unmasked. We're here in the Bat Cave, where uh, we're gonna continue our adventures in the world of superheroes. So, if you didn't check out the first video, you may have noticed uh, we played this game, and I kind of just messed around and really just kind of made up crazy scenarios and just made the Teen Titans fight stuff, basically, because I really like the Teen Titans, and uh, there's a kind of the real only superheroes that I'm super super excited for and well I'm kind of disappointed with the new series they came out for it but I still really like the original series and I like the Teen Titans a lot so today hopefully we're gonna try and do a little bit more and uh, I actually meant to upload a video on this a little while ago about a week ago and I don't know why it never really went up and then I lost it on my computer so uh, I'm putting it up kind of at an awkward spot it's kind of just lodged in between a bunch of other stuff I don't think it's very comfortable here, but, um, let's go ahead and open the Hero Creator, whatever that means, man. But yeah, we're playing some more Scribble Nuts here. A lot of you guys actually wanted this, and as I mentioned, I meant to upload this a while ago, but some reason it didn't go up, so what is up with this Hero Creator thing? I guess we can actually make our own superhero, so choose an object to start with. Let's write an object and make our own superhero, so what would my ideal superhero be like? Hmm... Uh, well, he definitely have a potato somewhere in there, so let's go ahead and choose our object as potato. And what is this actually going to do? Ah, edit and create your own objects here and turn on help to see tooltips. What is this? I believe that is potato man right there, guys. That's pretty accurate, right? What is this right here? Like a hat or a mustache? Yeah, we're going to give him a giant mustache. No, no thank you. All right, so we have a couple of hats to choose from, I guess for our superhero, so he's gonna wear a mask on top of a mask actually, so there's his secondary mask. He's gonna wear that on top of the other one. Nope, guess he can't do that. Can we not? Why can't we wear a mask on top of a mask? So let's use, I guess, the basic head there and put it on Potato Man. He doesn't look very menacing though, so we're gonna give him angry eyes because he's Potato Sack Man. Why can't we put the angry eyes on him? Can we put him somewhere else? Okay, I guess we can. Well, Angry Eyes guy can't apparently have sunglasses, so his secret identity will not or will be known to every single person. So there's uh, an elephant trunk. What else can we do? We can put a body on him, I guess. He already has a body, so we don't need that. We need some limbs, man. Let's put some limbs on our potato sack guy. So there is uh, Flash's arm, I guess. We'll give him something cooler than that. This looks pretty pimping. Look at that. All right, potato man, that's going to be your one arm. And, uh,. Don't worry, here comes your other arm, though, as soon as I find it. Ah, there it is. There's Potato Man's second arm. So there's his two arms. He looks he looks pretty great. I think he looks pretty happy, guys. What do you what do you think? I think Potato Man looks very, very happy right now. So let's get him some boots to wear. And there he is. Perfect. Ah, I guess we can color items. So we're going to make him all be a potato, obviously. Color all of that in. I guess you can color every single part of him? No, nope, just some parts. Oh, never mind. We did color a lot of parts there, actually. So, wow. All right. Potato Man is looking pretty great. Uh, we can actually rotate items as well. And I guess make them fit better. So there's his one arm. Um, here's his other arm, I guess. And I guess his little boots don't fit. So, uh, he's just going to have one foot. I hope you enjoy that, Potato Sack guy. He's not even a Potato Sack. There we go. Write a name for this object. It is Potato Man, <laughs> and that is going to be our crime-fighting superhero. So let's set it a little bit more about Potato Man here. Apparently, uh, you can give him superpowers and stuff. I'm not sure where this is. Ah, here we go. Okay, so in, in general, his source object is obviously a potato. This object is alive. Objects react to it as if it was a... Huh. Let's, uh, let's say that they react to him the same way that they would if they saw Superman. So they're going to admire him. They're going to love him so much. So yes, react exactly the way you'd see if you were Superman. His health is, of course, going to be plus a million. So just do 100. Oh, wait, we can actually make it. All right, max, 1500. Let's go. You are the most powerful thing alive, man. Apply gravity? No, man, this guy can fly. Totally. Weight of a mouse. Sure. So, reaction to fire is, uh, he explodes, that is his weakness, his weakness will be he dies to fire, and his explosion will be very, very nuclear. And, no, he does not spawn on fire. Electricity, um, no, that's not really his, his power here. His weapon type is gonna be a throw and exploding 
um, potato. Can we can we do that? A, a nuclear explosion whenever he throws a potato. So he can be worn like a hat. Yes. Behavior. Let's add a new one here. Ah, so he will protect um, potatoes. Did you mean all of this? Sure, I meant that one. Yeah, vitamin C sources. That is what I meant. That is what he's going to protect. And finally, we've got scripting when this object um, becomes animate. Or let's see what we can do here actually hmm is created he will uh, I don't want to make him explode but play an animation which is going to be not attack huh celebrate because he's the best superhero of course so that's it for potato man pretty much oh man Look at this wonderful, wonderful beast. Don't you guys just feel so great about him? Let's actually see his proportions. They need to be a little bit bigger. He's a very big guy. Oh, man. I'm feeling good about this guy. Look at him. He's probably the best superhero you guys have ever seen. So let's actually make him have actual legs because apparently he doesn't have any of those. So uh, what are some good legs here for you, buddy? These? These looking pretty good for you? No, those are actually very, very small compared to your body size. But you know what? That works out. Um... How about, let's see, some bunny slippers would be pretty good, uh, but we're going to give you these legs because why not? Uh, I, apparently I can't drag him. There we go. So there, he's got little legs. Where's the second leg? There we go. There we go, and that's Potato Man. He's now got legs so he can walk around, do whatever he wants. So let's go ahead and save this guy. Saving, and we're going to go and bring him out into the world. So there we go. Go ahead and check mark it, and boom, there he is. He's gonna, what? What? Why is, uh, well, he is certainly not working out the way I planned for him to be. We'll say that much. <laughs> um, I don't even know what those things that are hanging from his back or whatever are. He seems to just kind of be floating around. So let's go ahead and ride him. Oh, look at that. We are now riding Potato Man. <laughs> Can he shoot stuff? Oh, no, I don't want to open that again. Can we make him shoot potatoes somehow? Wow, this is not the way I meant for Potato Man to be. But, um, well, we made our own superhero. What do you guys think of Potato Man? I think he's top-notch, 10 out of 10. I'd say he can stand up to the likes of... Well, actually, I just realized Batman is attacking him because he's supposed to react to him like Superman. But, unfortunately, our Potato Guy is not attacking back, so... Things aren't really working out for him, unfortunately. So let's get out of here. I'm a little bit creeped out, actually. We have the world map, which we now can show off. And we can actually go to all these different places. As you see, we've got the Batcave over here. We've got Gotham City. We've got uh, this city, Metropolis. Let's go there. Yeah. And we actually get beamed up, apparently, like on a spaceship or something. Or maybe like the Justice League beams us up and teleports us over here. So let's try to help some people out. By using Potato Man. Find the basketball and put it in the hoop. Street ball? What is this going on right here? Um, well, I don't have exactly a basketball for you, but I've got something else, buddy. It's Potato Man! Yeah! Isn't that helping you out? Don't you like him? You don't like him? You don't, you don't like Potato Man? Well, why don't you like him, man? Look at him. He's so lovable. Who doesn't love that? Alright, well, I guess Potato Man can give him maybe a basketball. You know what? Honestly, guys, uh, I was really working hard to try and make a good superhero here, but, you know, it just didn't work out, so we're gonna have to scrap him. Here's your stupid basketball. Are you- wh what are you doing? I, I just gave you the basketball. Make it in the hoop, dog. Come on. Come on. You're telling me no man can, can't make his basketball in the hoop? I'm gonna steal this thing from you and make it in the hoop myself, so how do I- Huh. I don't- Oh, he stole it back from me. Alright, man. That's great. I'm not helping you out then. If you're just gonna steal my... Oh, that was a bomb. Huh. Well, yeah, if you're just gonna steal my basketball from me, then I'm not gonna give one to you. How do we pick this up? Let's go ahead and pick up this basketball. Now we're gonna play some ball, man. We got two balls in the court. This is how the game of basketball works. Why would you throw that? You just stole the... You just... What are you doing? I... We just somehow helped him out. What? Why are you punching me? Do you feel... Do you want to mess with me, man, right now? I don't think you want to mess with me because I'm going to summon the power of Nightwing. You know, Nightwing, Robin becomes him at some point. I know in Teen Titans he does. Nightwing, help him out, man. Help a man out. We're going to make you evil, actually, so you can attack this stupid basketball player. There we go. 
Don't attack me. Attack the basketball player. He apparently has kryptonite. There we go. Now, Nightwing, come on. Come on, man. You don't have to. You don't. You don't have to kill me. You just. There we go. All right, so let's help out some more wonderful people of Metropolis as we head up here. Do I really smell that bad? I guess everybody smells here as we have Superman versus Lex Luthor. Let's go ahead and start that. That sounds exciting, man. Maybe we can recruit the powers of Potato Man once again. You know what? We're going to stop talking about uh, Potato Man. He didn't work the way out that I planned him to work out. So here's Superman, and uh, I guess we're going to rescue whatever his girlfriend is. What is her name? Lois Lois Lane or something like that? Hey, it's Lex Luthor! And he's got a giant suit of evil greenness. Ha ha ha! Release your hostages, Metallo! No one needs to get hurt! Wait, that's Metallo, apparently, not Lex Luthor. I don't know what the Superman villains are. The only one I really know is the one from the newest movie, and I'd never heard of him before, so... Hey! Well... That was unfortunate. There's only one way to stop the crime in this city, and that is to summon my flying, a uh, good, uh, red, fire-breathing dragon. Uh, if I can type all of that out, because it's taken pretty long. There we go, and he's got to be, oh, he already is rideable. Yeah, actually, this is supposed to be orange, not red, to make it more accurate, you know. So let's add orange and see if that overwrites the red part, because I don't know what it's going to do. Yeah, it did. All right, here we go. Now we're really going to save the city of Metropolis with our wonderful pal here that we've caught. Uh, wow. Um, Jimmy was killed. Rest in peace, Jimmy, man. Rest in peace, Jimmy. Never forget. So that's been another Scribblenauts Unmasked video. Apparently, I still don't know how to play this game. So uh, we're going to jump off our mystical dragon and pick up this gift right here and see what's in it. Empty it out. Oh, what the? Why? Why would you? Why? Okay, well, at least our fire-breathing dragon's got this under control. I don't even know who he just killed, man. Who, who is that? Can we move out of the way? Monarch popped out of a gift. How did you fit in there? I don't really understand. Anyway, that's been Scribblenauts Unmasked. Our uh, birthday present here is actually burning alive. It's fine. We're going to pick it up and set ourselves on fire. Or maybe not. So thank you all once again for watching. Maybe next time I do a video on this game, I'll know what's up. Probably not. So, I don't know. See you guys later.